So, you know, first came sort of uh, voice on your cell phone, and then the camera was kind of standard equipment. Well, now navigation services and GPS is standard on your mobile. And I'm here with Steve from Network in Motion, Networks in Motion, and you guys are kind of the location-based technology provider to a lot of cellular networks around the world, right? That's right. We provide the service and the carriers market it to the customer, their customers because they have that billing relationship with the customer. You have a trusted relationship. They send you a bill every month. So when you add a service onto your monthly bill, you're comfortable with that. It's not some company you're unfamiliar with. And they've marketed under their own brand and Verizon as VZ Navigator. If you're a AAA member, there's AAA Mobile on your cell phone on any of the carriers in the U.S. So if, if you're navigating using GPS on your phone, there's a good chance you guys may be one of the providers providing that data and that software, correct? That's correct. We provide about half the navigation products in the world today, and in the U.S. we're probably about 60% of the market, and there's one other vendor who's probably the other 40%. So what are the trends in terms of cellular mobile and GPS location-based stuff? Yeah, so what you've seen is this was launched in 2006, and the penetration is still in uh, low percentages, but you're starting to see it become a more standard feature. It's available across the carrier's entire product line. It's a service that sells anywhere from $299 a day to $999 a month, or maybe even be bundled in with a premium service plan for $100 or $120. You're going to see that genericized, right? You're going to see that based built in, sort of as a standard feature in the That's next That's right, so few you won't years. feel like you're paying for the service, just like you don't feel like you're paying for camera phone in your phone anymore. It's just part of the phone service that you get, or voicemail is another good example. When it first came out as a feature, they charged you $299. Yeah. Now it's just a standard service. There you go. So location-based services coming to a cell phone. Now, what are some of the applications that are emerging now that we'll probably see over the next couple of years? Yeah, so point-to-point -point navigation's been around, as I said, oh. for about four or five years on phones, and it's become very common. And what we're seeing is location-based search, uh, which is the front end to going somewhere. So looking up a movie or a restaurant, someplace to meet your friends, sending them a, a social networking thing that says, I'm going to this restaurant or this bar, meet me there. Right. And also finding your kids. Uh, it's now oh, so quite there's common a kid, there's that a kid you can finder? track. There, in, in many of the carriers, provide a uh, child tracking service where uh, it's permission based, so only you can track your children. Right. So they have to be part of your family plan. And you can track their phones. You can set a fence around their school and say, oh, at these hours, if the phone leaves this area, ah. you assume it went with their kid, and you'll get a notification your kid's not at school anymore. Right. But more likely, it's going to be they went home after soccer practice with somebody else because you were late. But the this will help you get there. But the technology will allow you to basically monitor your children, make sure they're safe, and if there's an anomaly where they're going outside where they're supposed to, you'll get an alert. That's right. And this is an emerging feature that may, we may see in more carriers around the world, right? That's right. You're starting to see it up in Canada. It's become fairly popular. Europe hasn't really caught on with it yet. But family finders or friend finders are just now starting to catch on. Of course, here at these shows, that's all we talk about are things we can't sell you yet. But. Uh, <laughs> kid finder or a friend finder uh, yeah. starting to become a fairly common product. Uh, people are used to social networking being free on the internet. Unfortunately, on a mobile phone, there are costs associated with this, and so it's not going to be free initially. Uh, and the navigation services, of course, cost money to keep those up, but uh, the prices are coming down, and you see more people looking for, say, a restaurant to go to or find a movie, find a review of that movie, and find a restaurant nearby, send a place message to your friend saying, I'm going to go see this movie, meet me here, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Right, very good. All with only a few clicks. Very good. So there you go, find your friends, find your kids, find your way on your cell phone using networks and motions technology on a cell phone carrier near you, maybe over the next few years.